they were to them. So it's important to note that these were purchased. Second hand in great shape. And actually they didn't come from 3MA, but 3MA helping set them up um, based on some other gear that we're going to be setting up later, the B&W Nautilus that they did get from 3MA. So again, this is the quality of dealership you're dealing with. Even if you don't have gear from them, they will help support it, set it up. Uh, yeah. All right, let me update you in a bit. So he did get some uh, Shinjata cables. These are the Venom V14 XLRs. Very attractive custom connectors. Most people are familiar with Wilson's and have seen that they have kind of a modular design. Each driver has its own enclosure and the base drivers are down here and then they've got jumpers as you can see here from terminals at the bottom jumpers to the various rest of the drivers and connects to a crossover and there are some adjustments um, for the timing of the drivers depending on how far back you're seated it's a very sophisticated high-end loudspeaker But he's going to have BMW Nautilus. And those are really cool if you've seen those. And then, as I might have featured a little bit earlier, another system with avant garde. These are active at the bottom, and he's driving them with a Vitas. Um, I think it's integrated, make it a little bit easier than having to deal with tubes and, and whatnot. Although, I'm sure a lot of horn fans. We'll like twos in this setup. Great Siltec cables and electro companion deck. Hey. Don't know about that power strip conditioner. Have it have to learn a little bit more about that. But yeah. This alone would be, you know, an in-game system for many. One of three here so I'll be back soon so much like the MBLs the Wilson's come with full set of tools just so you guys can get a chance to see what all goes into actually setting one of these up and all the tools Involved. You've probably seen the speakers, but not behind the scenes, all this stuff. Just a beautiful home. Give you a little quick go around just one quarter of it over here. Bar area, entertainment area that has speakers and surround in walls. So that's actually a fourth system. Breakfast area, great kitchen. He's literally just been here though a few weeks, so that's why still moving stuff in. Has another residence as well. So great little view from all angles. The beautiful home all together. Bedrooms galore. Balcony. High ceilings as I showed earlier. So this will be a beautiful looking and sounding system for sure. So we also have Tate's um, acrylic racks. 
Yeah. I'm sure you guys recognize these from the previous videos, ultrasound acrylic bases. Usually put to pillars that are aluminum that's anodized in various custom colors. And then you can also put an LED strip on the acrylic. So um, I've featured that in plenty of recent videos if you haven't seen it. So the Wilson instruction manual. 101 and then the one RS 101. RS 102, not 101. Bye. Again, something people don't see behind the scenes often. Yeah, you gotta assembly this. <coughs> and then make sure you have two screws, and then you got a short one. Stack it in there. Wow, but you wanna grip give me a hit pretty fast? We can always wipe this later, right? Yeah. Match is just okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna oh, pick it up from here. Yeah, like they measure the distance from the speaker and then your ear height and all those kind of things to align, time align the drivers. So, yeah, it's important to have a uh, sweet spot. Yeah, I guess uh, MBL you don't need to because it's uh, sweet. not as much. Yeah, MBL is a little more omnidirectional. So yeah, like the, that one, the <laughs> the bad people one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well these are going to be on casters so we could put the MBL extremes on casters too and you can just each day you can swap <laughs> one out <Yeah. laughs> just roll <laughs> the extremes have casters yeah you just go ahead and raise the spikes yeah put them on and I mean that would be killer different speaker for each day of the week Yeah, that was so easy to set up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot easier than this one. Uh, that's why on the uh, on these right here, they want the dealer to come on set yeah. that wheel set. Yeah, yeah. Because if not, yeah. What's interesting is even these boxes are ported. Yeah. You don't often see that with the mid-range and tweeter boxes, but they do with the Wilsons. <laughs> pillars for the stands. It's kind of an antique gold anodized. It's going to look really good. No way. From one little one? Yeah. Wow. Okay. So this is the uh, owner's manual. In a little more detail. It's a very comprehensive process because of trying to time align the propagation of the, each driver for the proper distance. And obviously your room and all kinds of other factors can play a part. I see the words tube traps, ASC tube traps. Those are my favorite as well, so it's good to see that they um, they recommend those as well. I can vouch for that so as well. He's younger than all of us, huh? <laughs> That's all you have to do? Yeah. Just buy some numbers. Make a program. So, very comprehensive, and I wish more speaker makers would do these kind of things to help you understand how to set it up. Obviously, you need instructions to set this up, and it's definitely at least a two-person job, in my 
I wouldn't be surprised if they tell you for sure. Come on. Grow a set. So it's all in casters, but yeah, then you can you know, put the spikes. The, the the and it even comes yeah, with a, them, so a little jack. Yeah, so that you can do that and then level it. And then there are some custom resistors um, for the um, mid range and tweeter yeah. modules. Yeah. So, kind of giving you guys a behind the scenes of what it's like to own a Wilson. Really cool. Yes. So here you can see some of the tables, ear height, listening distance. Really. Very comprehensive manual. But, you know, just as much as the quality of the driver's material and cabinet, these things can impact the sound just as much where you sit where you align the drivers can be definitely audible for sure